Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use SignalR in .NET Core uh, with SQL table dependency package to uh, do a real-time table change and the chart uh, and the change in the charts. So uh, we previously did this table real-time data with uh, updation in the table um, and this is the second part. So uh, if you want to see how the table uh, changes on real-time, you can follow the previous video. Alright, so I'm just showing an, a, a demo of how the things are changing here. So for example, the price of the fruits, uh, apple, it's 200, I'm going to mention that 100. And you can see that the price in the table and also the chart data is changed. Okay, So if uh, I'm going to remove uh, a sports data from the table, you can see the charts refreshed and it's gone from the list of the products okay so the the table data changes is uh, on the previous video here i'm in continuation to that uh, in continuation to that program i made few changes for this uh, bringing in the charts and uh, i'll show you where we made that okay so without wasting any more time let's go ahead to the programs um, I will only be showing the codes here. However, I have my GitHub, uh, the source code ready. I have already pushed that to GitHub. I'll send you the link over the description. Okay, so uh, we know how we built this program to get the table data on the uh, dashboard, on the dashboard um, page. Okay, so this is the dashboard index page. So this is this was getting the table data previously. Now it's connected with the product line, the uh, donut chart, the line chart, and the bars chart. So I will have used uh, chat JS to um, uh, bring all the codes. So here we have, uh, if you look up for cdnjs.com and you type in uh, um, chart JS, chart.js. So the first one will have the chat JS links for uh, uh, CDN, and we have to copy this one, this this tag, okay, the hyperlink, copy script tag, okay. So after using this script tag, we will uh, put that script tag in the index page of our um, uh, dashboard index. So this was the dashboard uh, index page. Previously, it it had code uh, for the table only. Um, I secondly added the remaining code so div class row with the products then uh, line chart then bars chart okay and then uh, mentioned the canvas IDs on it three canvas IDs are added to uh, f uh, figure out which canvas uh, has to be updated now the script tag goes here for chart JS and uh, we made few more additions to the dashboard.js so dashboard dashboard.js uh, previously had until uh, bind products to the grid until this uh, we we added few more line of codes starting from line number 42 connection uh, dot on receive products for graph okay so we added this code uh, this init this in fact calls bind products to graph and bind products to graph will have uh, the codes for binding the products to the three graphs the first one um, is the donut here the type is mentioned donut okay the next one this is for chart graph and that's uh, mentioned as the line chart it's also calling the function chart graph and it's uh, sending in the parameter products for graph and uh, we have chart graph function over here and you can see that I'm passing two values item dot category and item dot products okay and that's binding it with the line chart next and the last one will be uh, okay wait wait give me one second here okay so uh, the last one is for uh, the bar chart so it's calling the type bar in the function so uh, connection not on after the connection is made uh, it's calling bind bar graph function so bind bar graph function has uh, label as products then two values item dot 
products and item dot category and uh, that's binding it to the canvas with the bar graph now lastly we have this function that if there is any data uh, I mean any uh, garbage in the previous uh, uh, container it's going to remove that destroy that value and refresh it okay so now this is all the code that you see we made changes yes index.html will have uh, this uh, design codes yes one more in I guess in the repository yes in the repository how we are calling the graph values so we added this function so Max changes is for these three files index.cshtml, dashboard.js, and product repository.js. So, this one will have a list type of uh, action uh, which takes product for graph. Um, this is uh, the uh, mod class. Yeah, we have one more change in the mod class. So, mod class will have this one public class product graph, and it takes two values category and integer products so integer products is the count value and category is the category of the product now what it's doing here is a list type of uh, product graph value that is products for graph and uh, that is using our entity framework uh, ef syntax to get the products uh, count and the category you can see that this is the the uh, code for it okay and it returns the product graph value okay so that's it for this program and uh, no more changes program.cs and everything else is as it was so no more changes anywhere oh yeah I'm sorry yes here also we added two more line of codes in dashboard dot Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I guess this one is the file which does not have any change. I'm sorry. I mean, I have been confusing. So let me just make it clear. Application builder also has no changes. Program dot cs no changes. Three, five files. Okay. Yeah. Finally, these five files. Okay. We previously had um, the dashboard hub.cs. Uh, people who are looking at this for the first time, they can. <coughs> for them, uh, we have a hubs uh, folder wherein uh, this one is required for uh, SignalR. We need a hub to mention the connections over here. So, um, constructor and the next set of action is for uh, connecting the uh, the JS files with the program to send the data okay so what uh, the send products is doing it's initially binding the table data and then secondly it's binding the graph data okay so we initially had these two line of codes however now the second time we are having this graph data okay so it's sending the graph data to the repository and repository is finally uh, producing the data it's it's processing the data and then it's sending it to the JS to bind it with the view alright so maximum five files finally five files which has changes uh, nothing much more I'm not going to waste much of your times so if we already had a view of the real-time things that's happening uh, I will put the code uh, the github uh, code I have already pushed it to my um, uh, to my github and it's there so I will uh, put the link over there and you can find it all right guys thanks for watching and uh, happy got <sighs> sorry happy coding and stay connected to us keep watching and give me your support thank you have a good day